Brian Palmer is with uh, Believe it's Believe Two Seven One, right? Uh, nice and tight on the. Uh, explain what it is that uh, that that you guys do, Brian. Uh, we were founded about five years ago, and we uh, provide uh, financial and emotional assistance for volunteer firefighters in a night in Herkimer County that are threatened by life-threatening illnesses such yeah. as cancer. And, uh, Sheriff, we have somebody who's not only a firefighter and a fire chief in uh, Willowvell, but also somebody who is a, a uh, Oneida County Sheriff's deputy. Yes, uh, Deputy Wayne Smolsey. He's been with the Sheriff's Office for uh, 16 years, longtime member, a uh, great guy, super, super guy. Um, Wayne is going through an extremely, extremely difficult time right now, battling stage 4 cancer. Um, this, this kid is one heck of a fighter. Um, he's, he's holding on for his life right now at the moment. Um, but we have, uh, an event coming up, uh, you know, to, to help him and his family plan for the future. And, uh, you know, we're, that's why Brian and I, are, I, I Brian and I are here today. Yeah. Uh, Wayne is a, a uh, he's been a member of the Willowville fire department for many, many years, worked his way up through the ranks. He's also a fire chief there. Uh, this is a guy who has given everything he's got to the community, both through law enforcement and, Absolutely. and, uh, fire service. Yeah. And now it's uh, it's our turn. When I say our turn, the community's turn to yep. give back to Wayne and his family. Am I correct in saying he has a child on the way? Uh, he has a child on the way, and he also has a little guy um, who's uh, Ethan's about three or four, He's I three. believe, three. Yeah. And his his wife is All expecting right. also. So just uh, just a very difficult difficult time for this family. And uh, we have a we have a big event uh, planned for this. this All right, so Sunday, Sunday. Uh, from one till five, twenty dollars per person. Kids twelve and under get in for free. It'll be at the Deerfield Firehouse. Uh, food and beverages, 50-50, silent auction, basket raffles. There will be a DJ and all that. And uh, you can buy your tickets right at the, the Buy your tickets Firehouse. right at the door. And if there's any businesses or folks out there who uh, you know can't make it that want to make a monetary donation, um, you can go through Believe 271. Brian, I don't know if you want to mention how they can reach out to you on that. They can reach out to us on our, on our website, uh, Believe271.com, mm-hmm. or, or through our Facebook page, or they can uh, – reach out to the sheriff or any other organization that's tied in with us, and they can definitely direct them to us. Uh, Brian, how often do we see, because if you're a firefighter, and for how many years was he? Uh, has I he believe been a, since he was 18 he got in the fire. So yes. the young yep. you're, you're going into a fire or you're outside. I, I don't care what the situation is. You are being subjected to toxic chemicals. Absolutely. So what is the rate? Are we finding the, the rate We're of firefighters? We're finding that uh, <clears throat> firefighters are typically two to three times greater risk mm-hmm. for certain types of cancer. Yeah. And uh, it's becoming a, a more prevalent problem. You know, it's based on some of the building materials we're using in today's houses and furniture. You know, 50, 20 years ago, we didn't have computer yep. screens in our houses mm-hmm. and all that stuff. So, you know, when those things burn, they emit, you know, toxic yep. carcinogens. Yeah. And they stay with us. They stay with us. They stay in our systems. They stay in our gear. You know, so it's important that we wash our gear after every fire. Otherwise, it continually enters our, our bodies. Right, and right. Stuff. Um, uh, and here's, you know, it's just, it's heartbreaking when you see these, these stories. He's 38 but, years old. Yeah. Um, and, you know, he, this is a, this is a kid who, um, you know, he hasn't worked in a, in a, a little while, but most recently he, he was reassigned from the road patrol to our IT unit. Um, mm-hmm. so that, cause he, he wanted to work every day. And uh, he was going for treatments, and he'd be at at the sheriff's office right after. So this kid is is one hell of a fighter. Um, he he's he's just as he's as tough as nails. He doesn't want to give up. He's not giving up. And uh, and like I said, uh, he he's given his whole his whole life to uh, to protecting and serving the community. And uh, all of us, we owe it to him to, to yep. give back. And yes. like I said, anything anybody can do for this event. We're accepting items for raffles, uh, monetary donations. Most importantly, we want to we want to fill that firehouse or the the pavilion right up at Deerfield. Right. Sunday afternoon. Um, anything else uh, you want to add, Brian? <clears throat> no, I think the sheriff's pretty well covered it. Again, but I mean, the, the web- Wayne, Wayne yep. is a fantastic guy. He's yep. just one of those great people you meet in life, you know, and his family. I can't say enough good about him. Right. So. I just want to add all the contact numbers and everything. I just put up um, on our Facebook page, there's a story about the benefit, and it's got the contact for Belief 271 and for all the agencies collecting mm-hmm. for donations or if you want to buy a ticket, how you can support the cause. And when we were booking this, one of his friends told me, as you mentioned, he's expecting this summer, and they're like, yeah. he just wants to be able to hold his daughter once, and they don't know if he's going to make it. That's how mm-hmm. serious the situation is. All right. Uh, again, the website for Believe 271 is? Believe271.com. Dot com. Really easy. Believe271.com. You can give a donation right through there. All right, guys. Thank, thank you, Thank you very much, Appreciate as it. always, Bill. Thank Brian, you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.